a shrimp rarely comes to mind when thinking of a fearsome marine predator. But there's one species capable of breaking aquarium glass with strikes faster than a .22 caliber gun. We're talking about the mantis shrimp, one of the deadliest marine creatures to ever roam the oceans. These tiny crustaceans are tinier than your little finger and hide beneath the rocky holes and coral or underneath sand burrows. Fishermen call them thumb splitters due to the incredible strength of their raptorial appendages. But that's not all. The mantis shrimp is also an incredibly developed animal with multiple fighting rituals to interact with others of its kind, and the most complex compound eyes of the animal kingdom. They're older than dinosaurs after all. Let's find out what makes the mantis shrimp biology so insane. Do not be fooled by their bright colors, for mantis shrimps are incredibly dangerous animals not to be taken lightly, thanks to their raptorial appendages. These are modifications of the mantis shrimp's foreleg that help them catch prey. And in their case, they come in two varieties, spears or clubs. In fact, while there are 500 species of mantis shrimp throughout the world's oceans, we can divide them into two main categories depending on their raptorial appendages, spearing and smashing. They contain massive muscles that can be extended to their maximum strength in less time than you can blink. And we mean this literally. Their full speed is a hundredth of a second. These strikes are powerful enough to dismember a crab and split human thumbs, earning them the thumb splitter nickname. But then, the attacks also produce caviation bubbles, which collapse in a flash so strong that even if the first strike misses the target, the shockwave from the cavitation bubbles will stun them at best and kill them at worst. It's almost impossible to dodge once the mantis shrimp has gotten you. Other species use their tiny raptorial appendages, called spearers, to impale fish or shrimp with their vice-like grip, allowing the mantis shrimp to drag them to their burrow. And this happens in the blink of an eye. The only way scientists can observe this phenomenon is by using stop-motion underwater cameras. So, what do they eat? Mantis shrimp can eat live fish, worms, shrimp, crabs, and even other mantis shrimp. Their temperament is fiercely violent, and they're highly territorial and protective of their burrows. The mantis shrimp's diet is also highly dependent on which raptorial appendage they're born with, meaning both spearers and smashers prefer different prey. Even their hunting strategies will vary, logically, to adapt to their weapons. Spears will almost always go for squid, worms, octopus, and fish. When hunting, they'll prefer ambushing passing prey by hiding within a burrow and striking out when it wanders too close. After running its prey through with its spear, it will pull it back towards its burrow to swallow it whole. On the other hand, smashers hunt hard-bodied creatures because they can crack open their protective shells and eat what's inside. These are the mantis shrimp that hunt clams, crabs, lobsters, and snails. Instead of sneak attacks, these ones search for their meal outside their burrow, out in the open. Mantis shrimp spend most of their time in burrows and only come out to feed, mate, or defend their territory. But how do they relate to others of their species if they're so solitary and aggressive? Well, mantis shrimp have a secret signal to let others know they come in peace. They can display patterns in their bodies that are invisible to humans but visible to others of their kind, using ultraviolet and polarized light. More on that later. So when a mantis shrimp wants to reproduce, it signals other mantis shrimp using these patterns on its body. And if one of the viewers also wants to reproduce, they can use these signals to safely mate without risking being attacked. A group of mantis shrimp has also been observed with monogamous relationships. This means the mantis shrimp will choose one partner to share their food, build shelter, and raise their offspring. This saves them the need to go looking for someone new to mate with regularly, exposing them to less risk from predators. Mantis shrimp also possess some really complex behaviors with other mantis shrimp. 
They have fighting rituals, for example, to avoid bludgeoning each other to death. It consists of the mantis shrimp coiling their plates in front of their bodies to turn them into makeshift shields. This allows them to defend from enemy mantis shrimp blows. The winners aren't necessarily the ones with the most powerful club, but the ones with the most consistent one. The more strikes they land, the higher their chances of victory. Not all of them are done to the death, either. Scientists theorize that this fighting ritual can also be done as competitions for the best burrows or to find out if their competitor has higher endurance, and if it would be wise to engage them in a fight. In short, while sometimes mantis shrimp might attack each other lethally, most of the time their interspecies exchanges are sparring matches to exchange information. Oh, and despite being underwater animals, mantis shrimp are known to make threatening sounds both in the wild and inside aquariums. At dawn and dusk, male mantis shrimp go hunting and make low, rumbling, growling sounds to attract mates and ward off competitors. Even more interesting is the mantis shrimp's ocular prowess. It's thought that they have the most complex eyes in the animal kingdom. All crustaceans have compound eyes, just like insects. This means that their eyes have a hundred different faces, all of which are units of the whole eye. First, because their eyes are mounted on mile stalks, they can move independently from each other. In human terms, this is like squeezing three eyes into each socket. All three parts of each compound eye can examine the same point in space, and their eyes can see their surroundings like a satellite. That's because mantis shrimp seem to analyze the information from all 12 of their receptors at once, allowing them to react to their surroundings immediately. This explains why they're capable of attacking their prey so fast. If their eyes are fast, then their arms should also be equally fast. And this is despite only having a small brain. Yet, that small fraction of their ocular prowess can handle four times more information. This allows them to separate colors from light, so a mantis shrimp can see what fish to attack, when to attack, and how far away it is. Their eyes contain 12 photoreceptors that allow them to sense different kinds of color with incredible accuracy. For example, Human eyes contain three of these light-sensitive eye cells, one for red, one for blue, and one for green. Most animals only need four or five photoreceptors. So why does the mantis shrimp need 12? The short answer is coral. Mantis shrimp live in coral reefs that are always bursting with colors. So it's a survival skill to detect a wide array of colors and even the ultraviolet region. Mantis shrimp, for example, can see the difference between blue and purple or red and orange. It gets harder with subtle variations of colors like purple and lilac, though it's impressive nonetheless. But what makes mantis shrimp so unique is how they've appeared in oceans for around 400 million years and have evolved so much ever since that they're barely genetically related to their once ancestors. Some scientists liken them to alien animals due to how different they are from other crustaceans. The term mantis shrimp itself is a little misleading. Rather than a shrimp, the mantis shrimp is more accurately a shrimp-like crustacean. Even ancient civilizations were wary of the mantis shrimp, with the ancient Assyrians calling them the sea locusts due to their fierce demeanor and the prawn killers in Australia due to how many prawn corpses could be found near a mantis shrimp burrow. Today, scientists are studying mantis shrimp to understand how to build better body armor, as they've been puzzled for a long time as to how they can deliver such deadly strikes without injuring themselves. They're currently modeling a type of carbon fiber material with military body armor applications based on the mantis shrimp's anatomy. Were you surprised by the mantis shrimp's insane biology? Wait until you discover the truth behind the name of killer whales by clicking on this video here. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.